<laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> ba boom, baby. Welcome back, everybody. The Anchor I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go ahead and do another mission. Uh, so, not really anything to update you on since the last episode. Uh, I did get on and spent a little bit of time off camera just doing some organizational stuff, harvest of the garden, that sort of thing. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get ready to go. I have already emptied my entire inventory of everything my armor, weapons, all that sort of thing. So, we're going to run to the pod and take off, go back up to the space station, get equipped, and then do ourselves a uh, another mission. So let's go. Hopefully we can get over there without uh, too much resistance. I'm just going to run because I don't have any weapons, don't have any armor, uh, but we have our, our three food buffs. Normally we have four, but uh, it's because of the one of the attachments on our chest armor that gives us the fourth one, so we lose that. And then we'll go up and take a look at the missions and see what is available. Try another sticks mission out. Okay, we made it to the pod safely. Let's return to station. Alrighty, let's go ahead and go new, go to missions, and go to sticks, and see what we want to do next. I haven't really looked at any of these, <coughs> excuse me, uh, to tell what we might want to do next. So let's see, we've done Zephyr, uh, we've done Headlong, we've done, uh, no, we haven't done Omphalos, I don't think have we done that yeah i guess we have if it's got the check mark i just don't remember it alcazar construction i don't i kind of don't want to do one that we have to get done in one single day it just takes forever um no i mean no it doesn't take forever it means that i'm stuck getting it completely done and i can't stop and come back to it you know a couple days later kind of thing um, they don't give you a lot of time on these missions, though, do they? This one's 30 days, but that's just general access to sticks. Uh, this is a three-day. Craft consumables, exterminate wildlife. It's a three skull. Okay, uh, what do we got up here? Vertigo Expedition. Husk extermination. We would have to do Maelstrom. And that is another clear path to a new region quest, which is good. Oh, wait, though. They they changed this so the counter stops if I'm logged out of the game, right? I think they did. So, actually, if that's the case, it's not so important that we get these all done at a particular point in time. That's only a three hour mission. My goodness. Extract and research underground materials. That's 450 Rin and a hundred exotics. Rendezvous delivery. Locate and retrieve a crucial bio sample. That's 350 Rin and a hundred um, exotics, gossamer research, system research of native species. That's got some exotics too. Ballistic extermination, exterminate hostile wildlife. Craft consumables, exterminate wildlife. That's 300 rand and 75 thingies. Construct a functioning base. That's a four skull mission. Okay, um, clear a path to enter a new region. So 
we could do this. It's a two day quest plus it, un, it'll unlock this husk extermination, which probably gives like some significant rewards. Um, or what is this vertigo clear path to see? That's another clear the path. And then it unlocks all of this stuff. Let's look at this. Lagos and group 15 want you in on this. Making a name for yourself, prospector. So, two goals. Lagos wants to open up a new area for exploration and exploitation. And 15 lost prototype equipment on a down shuttle in the same area. You get to play lab rat for the new Mark 200 prototype laser. Something hush-hush about its coolant system. Thoughts? Okay. Um... Find a way into the last of the uncharted areas and erect a locational beacon so the UDA can complete map, uh, completely map this region. The contractor acknowledges on it. Yeah, why don't we try this one? Let's give it a try. I'm just going to do it on normal um, because normal Styx missions are, are, are challenging enough. If we did it on hard, we would get 375 rain and 75 exotics versus 250 and 50. I think I'm just going to do it on normal. Um, Cause I don't feel like having a super, super hard challenge. So, all right. Yeah. Let's claim the prospect. And now um, we need stuff. Let's repair our Larkwell bow. And we're going to bring the Larkwell bow. Um, Let's repair this. It's our, run fast spear i'm not sure if i'm going to take that though we definitely want to take the water and the oxygen and we want the nano chest armor and i'm just going to repair this because i have plenty of rin puts it down there Okay, so that gets us our armor. <clears throat> um, I definitely want to take the campfire. Uh, the furnace is useful, but not not necessarily essential. Um, we want to take, I think we want to take the S5 Enviro suit. Uh, so let's grab that. Uh, or no, we put that right here. Okay, and then let's see. We're going to repair our shoey knife. And we're going to repair our Nevis pickaxe. And we'll take both of those. We're going to want room for some... Um, well, I can make arrows. I was thinking maybe purchasing some arrows. But before we do that, let's just see what else we might want to take. I think probably gatherer's backpack. Yeah, let's take the gatherer's backpack. That's always a good one to take. And Got the movement speed modules. We could take the furnace, but I'm kind of thinking that we want to go to, I guess I have to go all the way back to the store or to the workshop rather. Um, let's get ourselves some Larkwell ballistic arrows. Um, let's get ourselves the dropship recall because that's just invaluable. And we would have to run all the way back to our dropship. And I think we had three slots left, right? 
I'm trying to think, think of what else I might want. We could just get two bundles of arrows. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's just get two bundles of arrows. Okay. Lagos and Group 15 want you in on this. Making a name for yourself, Prospector. So, two goals. Lagos wants to open up a new area for exploration and exploitation. Didn't and I just buy two bundles of those? Lost prototype equipment on a down shuttle in the same area. You get to play lab rat for I don't the new see Mark him. 200 prototype laser. Something hush hush about its cool. Didn't we buy two of these? I'm confused. I don't know what happened there. Lagos and Group 15 want you in on this. Making a name for yourself, Prospector. It is nice to have that spear for moving around, though. I have to say. To open up a new area for exploration and exploitation. And yeah, you know what? Let's, um... Prototype equipment on a down shuttle in the same area. Let's bring the spear and I'll just take one thing of arrows because we'll be able to make arrows eventually. Okay, I think that's what I want. Um, doesn't matter. Let's just go. Okay, cool. Um, so I will see you guys down on uh, the surface and we will try this vertigo mission. Group 15 seems to misplace equipment often. More often than you'd expect. So often, in fact, you'd think it's intentional. Orchestrated. Or, or some people would think that. Uh, not me, of course. Uh, radar can be found in your dropship. Okay, we're good to go. Um, so collect a radar from dropship, which we did locate the lost equipment. So let's take a look at our map here. Yeah, well, I have never been up in this northwest part of the map. So that's that's kind of cool in and of itself because it'll be new territory, at least for me. Uh, so we need to work our way that direction. That direction. Um, let's look around a little bit first, though. Uh, oh, I've got to open these up. There we go. Oh, did I get the micro ballistic arrows? Oh, I got the <laughs> got the exploding arrows. Those weren't the ones I meant to get. <laughs> well, we're in it now. Crap. Okay. Well, we have exploding arrows, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, those. Those were not the ones that I meant to get, but we have them. So there you go. Um. Okay. So this is kind of cool looking. This is never seen this territory before. Let's grab some berries. Damn it! I can't believe I grabbed the exploding arrows. I just wanted the normal Larkwell arrows. Consume these for the little buff that they give us. Just kind of looking around for the moment. But what we'll probably do is kill some critters and make some bone arrows for basic arrow usage for the time being. This is a nice flat area for some, for a base. Got some waterfall over that way. It looks like this will open up over into a, an Arctic region. Let's go see if that's actually open or if it's blocked off. Um, I'm going to grab some corn while we're here. And we have a pig that we can kill. Uh, 
I don't know what the explosion radius of these arrows are. <laughs> okay, well, kablooey. We can get the arrow back after it exploded? Seriously? Uh, wait, did, did we actually get that arrow back? Huh. That seems odd. Oh, you know what else too is I want to make um I want to make a bone sickle. So we need a little bit of wood and we got the leather. And we're going to have to make ourselves a stone axe to get some wood. So we we'll just kind of look for some stone on the ground here and we're going to need some sticks too. Okay, that's probably enough stone. Grab these sticks, and there's enough to make an axe. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's craft that. And we'll get ourselves a little bit of wood. Okay, we'll make the bone sickle first. Let's gather some fiber and more berries and a little bit more corn too while we're here. Okay, that's probably enough of that for now. Yeah, it looks like this does open up into the Arctic. Okay, good. We don't really need to go into the Arctic. I just wanted to make sure that that's what it was going to do. Okay, let's um, let's start running towards our target. First uh, predator kill, and we need to make some bandages. Well, let's make uh, one of uh, one of those. And uh, eleven of these, because I need to take one right away. Okay. Let's head, start heading towards our destination. bit of soybeans there. Um, I want to make a wood torch, but we need to find some sulfur. I hear a bear. And there's some watermelon. Let's eat that right now. Where's the bear? There he is. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> ba boom, baby. Woot. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm not regretting uh, bringing these arrows along. This is the first time I've ever used them, and you get them back, too. That is crazy. How do you get them back? You'd think they'd be destroyed with the explosion. That is OP, you guys. Hell, we're going to use these all the time from now on. <laughs> wow. 
Okay. That's, uh, that's just crazy. Y you'd think, you know, something like that would get destroyed after you use it. That's what I would expect to have happen anyway. All right. Cool. Woo! Got some wolf action. Uh, we got some pumpkins over here. Let's go grab those. And some more watermelons. We'll, when it starts getting um, dark, we'll stop for the night, make a camp, set up, set down the uh, the camp MXC, and cook some of this stuff up. But I want to keep moving while we have daylight. Um, we're gonna have to go around this way. This spear is freaking amazing. It's the only way to go when you have to be on foot. Um, I don't know if there's something better than the spear or not in terms of just something that you, you know, hold on to. But, uh... <laughs> I, I just like that, man. I like explosions. If you guys watch my 7 Days to Die series, you know I like explosives, so that's fun. And we get it back again. Wow. That seems... I just... That seems a little broke to me, to be honest with you. Come on, man. <laughs> this... This arrow should be, like, getting destroyed when it blows up. I mean, seriously. But hey, you know, if that's the way it works, that's the way it works. Maybe they're, like, super space-aged arrows and they can resist the explosion and have multiple charges, I suppose. I don't know. I suppose I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, though, you know? Um, I'm not really sure why I'm grabbing soybeans right now because I can't really do anything with them. But... We are. Well, sort of. Okay, we've got another bear up this way. Let me look at the map here. Okay, so that just goes into a little canyon area there. I wonder, though, if there's a, if there's a cave that way. Oh, shit. Oh, man, that scared me. Um, let's just run up here real quick just to see uh, what the deal is. Because we're, you know, we're doing the mission, but we're also kind of exploring new territory as well, so. <laughs> Kablooey. And we get the arrow back, too. All right. Yep, that's it. From now on, we're taking exploding arrows with us on missions. I just assumed that they would be consumed upon you, so, you know, kind of more of a situational thing. But if you can get them back like that and reuse them, that's what we're doing. We're all about that's what we're doing. Grab a little bit more yeast here. Okay, that's good enough. So there is a cave over here, but it doesn't look like a a passage-based cave. It looks like it's just a normal cave. We'll pop our head in there and take a look at it real quick. Grab this salt. Oh, we need we still need to find some sulfur too so I can make the torch. I want to make the wood torch cuz it lasts a little bit longer than the normal fiber torch. A bomb in the butt.
All right, our inventory is full here, so let's... You know what? Actually, let's throw out the soybeans. Uh, we'll take that. I'm going to get rid of some fiber. And, uh, yeah. Get the arrow back. Hey, get out of here. Everything wants to eat us. Okay, definitely want those bones. Uh, let's get rid of that and pick up the bones. Sorry, baby bird that I killed your mama, but uh, she kind of asked for it. Okay, let's get rid of that. And that, and that. Back to this. Okay, we'll make ourselves a torch. Let's make a backup torch. I'm gonna get rid of these five pieces of wood and those two pieces of stone, just a great spot. Um, inventory sort. Let's ditch those sticks too. Okay. Um, also, let's ditch these. Well, here, let's consume this stack of berries. Oh, you know what? This does look like a passage cave. Yep, I think this is a passage cave. Okay, let's just follow it and see if we can actually go all the way through or if it's blocked at some point. No, it looks like it's going through to the desert area. Well, that doesn't mean it's not blocked, though. We have to get all the way through to know for sure. I see. Uh, I thought I saw some light. Yeah, right there. Okay, cool. So this cave actually goes all the way through into the desert. Look at that. All right. Okay, well, it's good to know for future reference for sure. Let's head back. I'm going to grab a little bit of coal whilst we're here. All right, let's hit keep on keeping on. We're going to grab a little bit of silica. Well, it's right in front of our face because we're going to need it for stuff. And we'll eventually need oxide too, but I'm... I'm going to leave that alone for now. Ah, 
Ah, uh, you know what? I should have brought... Dang it, I didn't even think about it. I should have brought some repair kits. Uh, let's get some more sulfur, too. Oh, actually, I've got sulfur right here. Um, let's put these down here. Yeah, I should have brought some repair kits, darn it. Oh well. So I think you get... I think you get five per thingy. If I remember right. So we're just going through a narrow valley here. That looks like it goes back off into the Arctic that direction. Okay, let's go map look at the map here. Oh, we're gonna have to go into the Arctic to get over here, so this is actually a really small uh, forest biome. Okay, well if that's the case. Then I think what we'll probably do is we'll we'll build ourselves a starter base, uh, maybe back down here by this water, and get um, you know get geared up before we actually go into the Arctic uh, to get there. Because because if I recall correctly, this whole corner is just a big Arctic biome, and uh, we want to make sure that we're well prepared before we we go in there. So I think what we'll do, like I said, is we'll go back down by this water here and we will build ourselves a, a basic base, just enough to get, you know, the normal crafting benches, all the stuff we need to get geared up and um, go from there. So that will be the next episode is the start of our, uh, the building of our base. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the very next episode. See ya. Bye.